Greetings to all! Imagine a world that existed more than 2,000 years ago, where society was open to discussing and exploring human sexuality in all its complexity and diversity. This world was ancient India, and the masterpiece created during that time was none other than the Kama Sutra. The Kama Sutra, often misconstrued as merely a sex manual, is in fact a profound guide to living a fulfilling life. It delves deep into the art of love, relationships, and the nature of desire. It also acknowledges and appreciates the diversity of human bodies, including female genitalia, which it classifies into four distinct types. Firstly, the deer type. This is akin to a doe or a female deer, and it is considered the smallest type. The Kama Sutra suggests that women with this type are gentle and have a high sensitivity. It is believed that they are most compatible with men of the hair type, which is the smallest type for males. Next, we have the mare type, larger than the deer type. Women with this type are described as having a deeper capacity for pleasure. The Kama Sutra advises that they are best matched with men of the bull type, which is larger than the hair. Moving forward, we come to the elephant type. The Kama Sutra describes this type as being even larger and deeper. Women with this type are said to enjoy long-lasting pleasure and are best paired with men of the horse type. Finally, there's the hair type. This type is described as the largest and deepest. According to the Kama Sutra, women with this type are capable of experiencing the most intense pleasure and are ideally suited for men of the elephant type. The Kama Sutra's classification of female genitalia is a testament to its enlightened and progressive stance on human sexuality. It propagates the idea that bodies are diverse and that this diversity should be recognized, respected and celebrated. Now, it's important to remember that these categories were established in a different era and a different cultural context. They may not necessarily align with modern understandings of anatomy or sexuality. However, the Kama Sutra's central message remains relevant, that bodies are unique and diverse and that understanding and embracing this diversity can lead to a fulfilling and satisfying love life. In summary, the Kama Sutra classifies female genitalia into four types – deer, mare, elephant, and hare. Each type is associated with different characteristics and compatibility with male types. However, the essential message of the Kama Sutra transcends these classifications. It encourages us to appreciate the beauty and diversity of the human body, to explore and understand our own bodies and those of our partners, and to strive for mutual satisfaction and fulfillment in our relationships. Thank you for tuning in and exploring this intriguing aspect of the Kama Sutra. Stay curious, stay open, and continue to embrace the diversity and complexity of human sexuality.